You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. This isn't my first rodeo. I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out here. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. Mr. Bolton. You ready to get this show on the road? All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Oh, my God! We've got to get out of here before we turn into ghouls. Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You can change your face? What's it like, you know, being a ghoul? Ghouls are immune to radiation, don't age, and don't need to eat. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together. The answer is no. Ruthless. Nice. Just like that, huh? <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. So what's your story? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Nice. I must say, it's good to see you up and about as well. I find your survivability Impressive. Just don't do anything crazy. <laughs> Got it. Off to good neighbor then. The wasteland will be a distrustful place, full of unsavory characters and few morals. So a ghoul walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve ghouls here. Ghoul says, that's fine. Is the human fresh? Your face. Like it? I think it gives me a sexy king of the zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. I'm a ghoul, you see? A lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. Hey, you. Looking for work? Yeah, when can I start? Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. You want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonya. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. So... What's the deal with the new guy? Oh, I'm lucky with this one. Came right up to my door and took the job. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. Damn it, Bobby. You lied to us, Bobby. And you have to pay. Did you have to kill her? It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. Not a lot of folks would travel with a ghoul, even one with my kind of charisma. Don't move! Shit. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction uh, uh, uh. job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Ah! Whoa. What are you? Not important right now. Skinny's no good for you, Darla. You put a bullet in him, and I just might let you go. Wow. You're... You're a bad boy, ain't you? I have my ways. Well, I'm glad those ways included shooting down mobsters. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. You're a dead man. A guy like that only understands one thing. <laughs> Swift and brutal force. All this tech. You were barely human. Hey, when you got time, I... I got something I still need you to hear. Sure, go ahead. Other than feeling a little jealous I might only be the second most deadly person in this outfit, I'm feeling pretty damn good. Sounds like you had an awfully bloody past. Sure did. And if things keep going the way they have, I think we're both in for a nice, bloody future. <laughs> that was right. They should have killed you when you were on ice. 
You wanna try for round two? Let's go! Good dad! <laughs> People are stealing these clothes? Seriously? Yes, they are. So don't push it. Nice hat. Seems I'm gonna be missing out on all the fun. You have no idea, Hancock. No idea. Diamond City, huh? You know, they ain't real fond of ghouls in this town. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. How about bullets? Faith shield me against those two? Go ahead and shoot her then. She ain't worth wasting ammo. Don't do anything stupid. Shit. Don't move. <clears throat> Don't do anything stupid. Shit. Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? To tell you the truth, we're both a little screwed up. A perfect match. Caliber revolver. You just say the word if you want to take a look. Chem break. You may find an impromptu cocktail hour helps to ease social stress. Your charisma will help you avoid the perils of addiction, but not the immediate effects of drink. So practice moderation. Everything you need. The Red Menace. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? The craziest ideas are usually the best. <laughs> the Red Death. May have heard of it. The big monster lives beneath the waves. Only strikes when the fog is thick. Glowing red, crimson. An unholy light that stretched to the sky. And together, we're going to put an end to it. Mainlander, if the Red Death's real, we can't afford to lose you both. With all I've seen and faced, this Red Death doesn't scare me. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. <gasps> Whatever keeps you alive. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter of good name. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. There we go. You get to be my new gun. There's no sport to spill in the blood. There's no need it. Lucky for us, the Commonwealth provides. Is it over? Well, I could have gone worse. 
<laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. I've seen better. Ha! Like hell you have. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. If I ever decide to go ghoul, you're the first one I'm looking up. 